Hello and welcome my family. Welcome to the show. We're here in the Steam open beta of State of Decay 2. I'm your host, Surly Jester, and though it has been a while since I've played this game, I do love and miss it. And now we've got some new stuff to check out. Look at that. There's my restaurant in the background. Look at that. That's my chicken shack. <laughs> All right, well, the open beta is available to anyone with the Steam version of the game and features plague territories, landmark outposts, and upgradable outposts. So plague territories are infected regions controlled by plague hearts. You can't claim a home site or an outpost within plague territory until you've defeated the nearby plague heart that controls that location. Note that some locations may be claimed by multiple plague hearts with overlapping territories. So basically, there's kind of a fog on the map where plague hearts live and it's a specific radius. I don't know how big it is, but there's a, there's a radius around the plague heart that becomes a plague territory and they can overlap and you can't claim anything in that area until you've dealt with that play card. So it seems that this uh, beta is really pushing uh, people towards progression and towards getting rid of play cards. Landmark outposts are unique sites that offer three different benefit strategies to choose from when you claim them as an outpost. Each map features one such outpost for you to try. Not seen these yet, obviously. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, you pick what you want it to be once you claim it. I, I don't know if you can change that, but we'll figure that out as we go. And finally, resource outposts, the ones that offer, uh, okay, back up, the ones that offer food, ammo, etc. now allow you to upgrade them to enhance their benefits when you've tried, yeah. so. I guess that means you can get more out of those outposts or that they offer more to your base on a daily basis. Again, not seen it yet. Looking forward to figuring it out. So this is the public test realm and we're going to get started here. A new community. No, I'm going to skip the tutorial. A new community going and the newest map is Providence Ridge, but I'm it's been a while. So I'm going to go in uh, to the game comfortably. I'm going to go to Mager Valley, which is one of my favorites. I, I really like that map. Um, I will admit it's a little easier to navigate around than some of the others, but that's because I want to be able to experience all the stuff that the beta has to offer without stressing out too much about, you know, not having everybody die. So <laughs> we're going to do that. So that's one of my favorites. Uh, and we're gonna start uh, rolling the dice on a new community. I am gonna go to Dread Zone. I won't keep it to standard. That's maybe a little too easy. I'm certainly not gonna go Nightmare or Lethal because I'm not a professional. So this is gonna be a little more intense and slightly larger hordes and stuff, but uh, we're not gonna do the custom settings. We're gonna go into Dread All In. These should, yeah. Basic settings, Dread, Accept. All right, so now I'm going to roll the dice on some survivors. And I won't bore you with all that. So I'll pick some people for my community and I'll be back and we can get into this. OK, so I think I'm going to settle on these three. We've got Patricia Maxwell or Patty. She had a backwoods upbringing, a flower garden, and she's determined. I picked her for gardening, but look at the health and stamps she's got. Then we've got Donald Almodovar, or Don. I'm gonna go with Don. He's a DIY remodeler, loves school, and he's organized. So he likes to learn and keep things in order. And his craftsmanship is fantastic. Finally, we've got Tanaya Holmes, or just Tanaya. She was an EMT. So fixing people with physical trauma in a high pressure situation is not going to be anything new to her. She had a paper route and she's magnanimous. Okay, so her medicine rating is great. We'll just have to put up with constantly hearing how wonderful she is, I guess. So here we go. This is the community we're going with. Uh, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And the typical cutscene to begin. And we're empty. Again. So, 
whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time you guys almost I think I've heard this enough times that we can probably skip it. All right. Any What 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 one? Don, what are you talking about, bro? Oh, that one. All right, let me check the car out. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I want all this stuff. No gas in it. Okay. That's nothing uh, terribly surprising. I'm tired of living on the run. We need a place we can defend. Yeah, I get it, dude. We're going. Hold that, would you? All right, let's go, people. Now, this is Dread Zone, so I'm not going to fight every single thing I see. We're going to pick our battles. Especially in the early goings, because I don't have a bunch of stuff in the way of parts and whatnot to... Uh... Yeah, I don't have a bunch of parts to fix weapons. Not that there's anything to fix, I think I'm... It's gonna take me some time, I think, just to get you... Let's check out the map. Does it... Okay, so the... Wow. Wow, so the brewing company is claimed by a plague heart. The farm is claimed by a plague heart. Camp Kalenk was claimed... Wow. This is crazy. The bounty broker's over there. So you can see like a cloud or like a fog around where all the plague hearts are. And it looks like you start being able to see where all the plague hearts are. If I'm recalling correctly, you used to have to discover those. Hey, we've got company. As you went around the... That was... Oh, I might have to remap some controls. That's not how I used to do that. I used to be able to hold my C button and get into a crouch and do a dodge. Now it looks like I've got to use my left control. That's not going to work out. I'm going to switch that right now. All right. Now I think I've got things the way I want them. It's not safe for us. I don't want to talk to Patty. I want to search. We're not wandering. We're, well, we're wandering a little bit with purpose. Ooh. Yes, please. Can I not? Oh, that's way more efficient. With the Z key, that's... I like that. Okay. Don, could you stay out of it for a minute? I'm trying something here. Maybe I'll try that later when I'm by myself. Alright, let's just get into the house and get started, I guess. In place and starting work. We just gotta get all the undead out of here. Okay, you guys have that one? I'll go upstairs. Why does it look so bright in here? That I don't remember the floor being glow in the dark like this. Yeah, well, had to be done. What did I miss? It's because I didn't physically walk in here? Yeah, okay. Once we claim this place, we can start getting settled. Man, the contrast indoors is really messed up here. I don't know if that's part of uh, 
the beta or what? Ready to move? What do you mean move? Well, that shouldn't be showing up. All right, so I've got some things already to report. All right, let's put the first aid away, obviously. And you, buddy. Can I have that stuff? Thank you. Fuel and ammo we still need. But apparently... Let's get to cleaning things up around here. Are they going to let us do both? No. All right. Let's get a workshop going. Can we do that already? Not yet. Because we need the materials. All right, let's go get some materials real quick. And then we'll have our workshop underway. Oh, oh! That's quite a drop. That's going to take some practice. It's been a long time since I've done that. But that needs to become second nature. Oh man. By the look of this area, there must be a plague heart nearby. Yep. So there's not going to be claiming any outposts around this area, not until we deal with all that. Look at them all. Okay. So it sure looks like as long as you're in this cloud, there are going to be a lot more plague zombies. Look at them all. Not done yet, but making good headway. About damn time. Jeez. Sorry, buddy. We're a little Never busy over here. Started. Alejandra? I would like Alejandra. That is what I call a good outpost location. Really? The Dirty Bird Espresso? Why do they always say that? Seems a little small, doesn't it? Nothing more to see here. All right, that might have food in it, but I'm supposed to be going after materials, and now I've got to go way over there to find some. I think I might unlock some more stuff at this cell tower, actually. Not unlock, but survey a little bit more. And oh, hello, you. Nearby Plague Heart has made this location inhospitable. Destroy the heart if you want to claim this site. Alright, well I don't at the moment, so... That'll be fine. But it really does... It looks like that this... This system... Oh, what do we have here? Am I going to be overweight? Am I going to be all fat now? It sure seems like they're prioritizing the destruction of play carts a lot more the way they've got this set up because I mean if, if it's going to take up that percentage of the map you're not going to be able to claim any decent outposts without getting rid of a play cart or two so that is a little messy if that thing runs I want to drive it ooh okay yeah me too I'm gonna drive all of them. The problem with getting rid of Plague Heart's early game is it's gonna advance your standing to the point where the map just starts to get more difficult right away. I normally would like to not deal with Plague Hearts in the immediate and sort of get a footing first and, and get my, uh, my base functioning nicely and my community a little bit happier before I start dealing with play cards, but uh, 
it sure looks like this iteration isn't going to allow for that. You're going to have to start dealing with play cards a lot earlier. Unless I can find some decent outposts that are outside of that fog. But I'll have to examine the map a little more closely for that. that thing runs, I, want to drive it. I want that ambulance. That should do it for now. Ooh. The loots. Oh, I should have emptied my inventory before I got up here. I want this stuff. Uh, can we... I want to drop this. Can I drop that? How do I drop that? How about just read the screen? R. Uh, Alright, we need to head over to that garage. I think... And the only thing I have room for is a rucksack because my inventory is full besides, so I'm just going to have to get over there, grab the rucksack, get back home, and that'll get me started on building up the base. Give me some stam. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's the stuff. Can we fix this without materials? Yes. Get that going while I'm on my way back. Get back home, get to building, get a move on. I am going to have to find some uh, fuel and weapons, ammunition. But this is my favorite part is getting started. Yes, it is. I want to start with a workshop. It's just how I roll. Real. Infirmary will be next as soon as I have the manpower for it. Don, you just keep building. You're doing good there, buddy. Where are you? Oh, jeez. It's hard to see you. All right, Patty. Your turn. See what you got. And our new construction is done. Oh, well in that case, let's get to building an infirmary. And what have you got? Yeah, a wooden bat. All right, don't do for the moment. Oh, nice job. Okay, so as far as outposts are concerned, it looks like this entire area of the map is just a mess. And if I don't want to kill some play cards to get some outposts, then I'm going to have to look to get some outposts over in this area. Isn't this a... I feel like this is a weapons store like a gun store if I'm not mistaken sheds these are all I might be able to find some stuff in there but I think this is a gun store I'm gonna go check that out because if I can make that an outpost right away then I'll have some stuff flowing into the base in the early goings that'll be helpful Oh yeah, that's definitely a gun store. And it doesn't look like there's much going on around here. This will make a great outpost. Let's check it out. Oh, I'm going to have to get more practiced at that for sure. Site not secure. Okay, now it is. All right, we're going to claim this outpost. Mission accomplished. The outpost is secure. And now we should be able to loot it. Oh yeah, super fast. 
Nice. What do we got in the gun case? This might be valuable. Uh, okay. This will be valuable. Open supply locker. Open outpost. I don't remember seeing that before. Oh, okay. It just shows you what it gives you. That's fine. And we'll put that away. Can I transfer this straight to the base? I don't think I can. Is it really gonna... No, it's not gonna let me do that. I'm gonna bring that back. Okay. Oh, wait. No, that's a pooper. I'm not looting that. I don't even care if there's something in there. I don't want it. I forgot to start the infirmary. No, I did do the infirmary. How about a garden? Can I do a garden yet? Knowledge of utilities. Why? Yeah, I can. I need more materials, though. All right. More materials. Gasling. Let's go see what those dudes want. I know it's going to be. I know what it is, but let's just go get it off, off the books as a mission. What? There's a light up here? What is this? On the truck. Ooh. The air is thick with it. What have we got here? Why are you standing up? Can't you stay crouched and check things out? Alright, well that's disappointing. That's a gun case. I was really hoping for more out of that. Hello, neighbors. Hey Our supply of plague samples has run low. If you can find more, we have fuel to trade. The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. Mm-hmm. I've tried that. You don't mind if I rob you, do you? Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. And I was going to check out here for a rucksack of fuel, but I've got this food that I need to get back now. Okay, sorry. I opened all your doors, everybody. Sorry about that. Have fun. This is a loud one, if I recall, too. Have you got gas? Oof. Very little. But. Uh, I can find some gas here. Then we can drive that baby home. So, perfect. So aside from, you know, the ambient uh, mist in the air, akin to being close to a plague heart, and the fact that many of the zombies are plague zombies, so far things don't seem too much different. Well, that and the fact that I can't just claim an outpost in this area. Oh, this thing handles like a refrigerator. And it is loud. Not my favorite vehicle in the game, that's for sure. Well, we've got a car anyway. Materials depleted. We need materials really badly. So we can really get moving on stuff. Did that rucksack go in? Yeah, it did. All right. Well, when we get back, we're going to definitely go after some materials and fuel. 
so we can get moving on some stuff uh get building a little bit more but that's gonna do it for now that's my first quick look at this steam open beta uh i really don't want to what's this yeah oh, yeah i really don't want to start killing play cards this early in the game i don't even have the stuff to do it anyway uh so we'll see how this progresses but uh for the moment we've got an outpost we've got a base we just need to collect some more stuff, and we'll do that next time. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one.